Hey guys, welcome to this next episode of the Frenergy channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to visualize magnetic energy. So a lot of people have issues uh, figuring out how over unity works due to the laws of thermodynamics. I looked into this. Uh, the laws of thermodynamics says that one energy is always supposed to be stronger than the other in order to uh, create a motion of any, any sort. So, uh, I don't believe this theory is correct. I believe um, energies have to be evened out in order to gain in strength. So, I came across something known as the double helix theory. And this, by far, makes the most sense because if you look at an oscillation wave, it goes negative or positive and then I'll go negative and then I'll go positive and negative and positive and so I didn't realize what exactly that meant but really it's actually the perfect connection of two magnetic energies uniting and oscillating right through each other and um, the only way to visualize this is by testing out magnets and seeing how magnetic current actually works. So magnets naturally uh, pull in energy from the outside in, but they also emit a polarity from the dead center. So the polarity of, say, a North Pole magnet would be a clockwise rotation of energy. The polarity of a south pole magnet would be a counterclockwise polarity. Sorry if it's not that great of a drawing. Um, I figured it would probably be the easiest to distinguish the difference because of how this wire crosses over the top of my nail. So there is a difference in windings of coils and that is how you can step up your voltage on a transformer. Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh, you can also store this natural alternating current if it is not um, too high on amperage. Uh, you pinch one of the coils shut, there's a, there's a patent on it. I'm going to be getting into it on my next video. Um, but anyways, there's a, there's a patent on storing this magnetic flux of energy inside a transformer just by doing something known as coil shorting or just uh, pinching one of, your, uh, one of your three coils as hooked up to a transformer that has a different number of turns that is greater than the other two coils. Um, so for all of you guys that is trying to figure out free energy, I hope this helps a lot of you guys out. Um, and as far as how a battery works, um, this is probably where everyone is going to ask questions. So we're going to say battery. Uh, this is the negative positive. Now everyone thinks that a battery is, has energy going in a direct current uh, one way going uh, going in a circular direction and that's not true. One energy is actually just shooting out at a lot faster rate than the other energy and it is causing a direct current polarity so you're having a like a stronger north pole than you are a south pole, for instance. Uh, you just have to look into Ed Leeds Scallonin's work. It, it totally makes sense, and I've also found things on YouTube known as magnetic resonators. I do believe that they are uh, capable of being created because if you put a little separation right here between the nail and your battery, well, that creates two uneven uh, currents that comes out of the battery and the nail then because the energies aren't technically, the metals aren't touching. So it's going to be a different reaction, possibly a direct current reaction because uh, magnets have a consistent energy pole, turning this into a stronger, uh, like a north pole. I don't know, something to look into. 
Hope this helps you guys out. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I do truly believe the double helix theory is one of the key theories slash probably real facts that will give you guys a better idea of how free energy could work. Positive negative waves collide with each other. And if they are perfectly tuned on the helix, the helix is an oscillation. Oscillation, you see what I mean? Oscillating. If you connect these guys together, it'd look like they're oscillating right into each other like an oscillation wave. And bam, problem solved. I mean, uh, if you turn this into a perpetual motion generated off of magnetic energy, you're going to create some sort of overunity device. And uh, yeah, problem solved. I'm going to be making some more videos on how this energy works just by stepping up alternating current. It's a radiant energy, a magnetic energy that I believe spreads evenly along permeable metals, making those metals weigh a uh, super magnet, turning them into super magnets because it's consistent frequency being pumped in. <clears throat> pumped into the transformer and it can be stepped up by wrapping thicker coils. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.